Welcome to Smart Remarks, where there is one good thing about living in the past. I was a lot younger then. So I want to draw a bright red line between two things that have been going on, one here in Pennsylvania and one in the national media. The thing here in Pennsylvania has to do with the fact that some Republicans in the state legislature, who apparently have nothing better to do, have decided they want every school in Pennsylvania to display In God We Trust in classrooms or elsewhere in the school. Uh, public schools, you mean like church and state, the separation of church and state? No, 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 say proponents of this. This has nothing to do with trying to shove religion down your throat. This is a historical measure. See, In God We Trust has been on the coin since the Civil War. It was adopted as our national motto in 1956 when we were at war with godless communism and we had to show our moral superiority. This is all about heritage. And if you believe that, I've got some beachfront real estate in Pittsburgh I'd like to sell you. As should be obvious, this is all about planting the flag of cultural supremacy on behalf of God-fearing Americans who also fear a secular society. Of course, the sponsors of the bill say, well, no, we wouldn't be forcing anybody to believe anything. Why, you could even uh, have your God be Allah if you want, as strange and dangerous as that might be. And you're even allowed to be atheist if you so choose. But by putting in God we trust in the schools, we're saying that this land is our land. This land ain't your land. And if you don't like it, maybe you should get yourself to church. Which brings us to item number two, a line in a column by Washington Post columnist Richard Cohen, who wrote about how, quote, conventional folks are deeply troubled that America no longer looks like the America they grew up in. Quote, people with conventional views must repress a gag reflex when considering the mayor-elect of New York, a white man married to a black woman with two biracial children, wrote Cohen. And everybody with half a brain went, what? Look, if you have to repress a gag reflex when you see a biracial couple, you're not conventional. You're stone racist. But understand what's going on here. Conventional folks, that is white Christians, feel besieged. They feel as if their culture and their nation has been taken away from them. Remember the old Bill Buckley line that a conservative was someone who stands athwart history yelling, Stop! That's what this is about. Societies and nations and people change and evolve. Uh, it's a natural process, but it's always going to be resisted by those who see the past through the rose-colored lens of nostalgia, who think the past was more moral than the present because that's how they remember it. But the good old days weren't always good. You know, America had a lot more God in schools when interracial marriage was illegal. So were we a more moral nation then? Or not, and if we so, it, let's not fall into the trap of thinking that because we're different, we're worse off. Because the reality is, if we are worse off, it has nothing to do with demographic changes or changes in religious preferences. I remember the past fondly too, uh, but I'm not foolish enough to think that that means it was more moral than the present. <laughs>